Deck Building. I'm your host, Demo, and is Stifle better than Swords to Plowshares in a Commander game? This is an interesting sort of thought experiment I thought I would tackle. I just finished watching a video of the MTG Goldfish guys talking about their favorite removal spells in the format, and I believe three of them had Swords to Plowshares in their top three as obviously one of the best removal spells in the format and it is certainly the most popular removal spell in the format in fact outside of mana rocks it is the most popular card in the entire format it's in over 187,000 decks on edh rack it is incredibly popular and it should be it's fantastic it is an excellent removal spell no question i just thought it would be interesting you know i like to raise these questions to get people thinking to get the wheels turning because for me when we're talking about removal and if i was to rank my top three removal spells in the format for me it's probably going to be beast within generous gift and assassin's trophy the reason why those three and again color is always important here but if we're just forgetting about color for a second the reason why those three is because they can hit any permanent to me that's what matters most in a commander game swords to plowshares is really good sure but it only hits creatures i love versatility in my removal and i'm not hating on swords at all i put in all my white decks it's great i just like to get people thinking about why is it that exiling creatures is so important we got some really powerful enchantments in the format like ristic study and smothering tithe that we want to get off the table right away there are artifacts in the format that we want to get off the table right away and of course even planeswalkers that you definitely want to get off the table right away why is it so important to exile creatures and i know everyone will say oh well everyone's got a legendary creature right their commander that you want to get off the table true but any of the other spells that i just talked about will also get those commanders off the table and they can get a whole lot of other stuff off the table as well the fact that you can do it at instant speed for one mana why is that so important right how many commanders have to be removed as soon as they hit the table like in other words on the opponent's turn i don't think there's that many even a really powerful commander like muldrotha or chulain or even a corvald they're going to cast it they'll get a little bit of value maybe but then that's about it they're not really going to go off probably until they're next turn so you're going to have plenty of opportunity to remove it but more importantly here i'm talking about stifle i'm comparing swords to plowshares to stifle which is an interesting comparison they're both one mana instant speed spells so there's obviously the comparison there i just talked about stifle in my sort of underrated counter spells video and it's not a counter spell i gave it an honorable mention because obviously it doesn't actually counter a spell it counters an activated or triggered ability and there are other effects that do this trick bind is a notable example which is even better because it has split second. But if you just think about the ways you lose a game, right? For me, Crater Hoof Behemoth is far and away the card that I have lost the most commander games to. I think Aether Flux Reservoir is the second most. Swords to Plowshares does nothing against either of those cards, right? Swords to Plowshares obviously does nothing against an Aetherflux Reservoir because it's not a creature. Against the Crater Hoof, you can exile their Crater Hoof in response, but they're still going to get the triggered ability and their whole team is going to be huge and they can still kill you. So it doesn't do a whole lot there either. Stifle, on the other hand, stops both of them. It's going to stop that Crater Hoof ability, which is a triggered ability, and it's going to stop, of course, the activated ability of the Aetherflux Reservoir. In fact, Stifle essentially turns a crater hoof into a eight mana five five which is pretty bad and aether flux reservoir it turns it into your opponent just shot themselves in the face for 50 damage so that's pretty amazing and i think it's a lot more likely that i'm going to run into that scenario then I am going to run into the scenario where I need to exile my opponent's a creature immediately or I'm going to die. Like, what's that scenario? Blightsteel Colossus comes to mind. For me personally, I think I've died to a Blightsteel Colossus once in a game. Maybe it's because I put so much removal in my deck. I don't know. There just isn't a lot of scenarios there. You know, I would say there's way more scenarios where my opponent's about to kill me or my opponent's about to win the game. Swords to Plowshares is going to stop less of those scenarios than Stifle does. Pretty much much every combo right every infinite combo a stifle is going to stop it right it's going to stop it from continuing on once you use the stifle and even if you think about a kiki jiki combo for example yeah swords to plowshares is going to work there but stifle also works there you kiki jiki that 
Restoration Angel or whatever that creature is that's untapping your Kiki Jiki, all you have to do is just stifle it once. The combo is now broken up because the Kiki Jiki won't be able to untap. And I know people will say, oh, well, there's lots of really powerful commanders that I want to get off the table. That's true. There definitely is, no question. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't put Swords of Plowshares in your deck. You absolutely should. I'm just saying, man, even in a lot of situations like that, Stifle can be really good. If you look at Kenrith the Return King, now the most popular commander in the entire format, there's a whole lot of activated ability that you can stifle. Atraxa has a, at the beginning of your end step, proliferate ability. That's a triggered ability that you can stifle. Korvald has a couple of triggered abilities you can stifle. Eureko has a triggered ability that you can stifle. Sisse Weather, like Captain, has a really powerful activated ability that you can stifle. Marin of Clan Neltoth has a really powerful triggered ability that you can stifle. And I know people will say, oh, well, Swords to Plowshares, you don't even have to stifle it. You just get rid of them. Problem solved. True, but again, Swords to Plowshares doesn't work against all those other things I already talked about. Stifle does. So Stifle is not going to be a dead draw in any of these situations, whereas Swords to Plowshares is. And just think to yourself, how many times have I cast a Swords to Plowshares and saved the game for myself, right? How many times have I actually saved or won the game for myself with the Swords to Plowshares? I'm sure it hasn't happened that much. Whereas with a Stifle, I'm sure you would be saying that a lot. I'm sure there's a lot of situations where your opponent's about to win the game and a stifle will actually save you from that. Or your opponent's about to kill you with that Aetherflux Reservoir, one blue mana, and now they just paid 50 life for nothing. Am I saying stifle is better than Swords of the Plowshares? No, I'm not, okay? I think you could make the argument, though. If someone was trying to make the argument, like I'm trying to do, I guess, that stifle is better than Swords of the Plowshares, I would definitely have an open ear for that person because there is some great points to make there. Ultimately, I think people like the swords because there's always going to be a creature around that you can remove but I think there's always going to be activated and triggered abilities around that you can remove as well. And like I said, even though you're not exiling something, a lot of the times it's that game winning play, that game ending play where Stifle can actually save the day. And a lot of those swords isn't going to work. Just think about all the stuff that gets played in a commander game. I mean, yes, your commander's a creature, but other than that, a lot of the most powerful cards in the entire format aren't creatures. I mean, if I look at the most popular cards in the entire format, there's almost no creatures there at all. Eternal Witness is the most popular creature in the entire format. It's in over 100,000 decks. And again, Swords to Plowshares is going to do nothing there. A Stifle actually will. A Stifle, you can stop that ability so that your opponent won't get something back from their graveyard. Next most popular creature, again in over 100,000 decks, is Sakura Tribe Elder. And again, Swords to Plowshares does nothing there, but a Stifle will. It'll actually stop that player from getting a basic land. I'm not saying you actually would do that with your Stifle, although it is an option for you, right? And as I go down the list of the most popular creatures in the format, there is not a one that you're going to use a Swords to Plowshares on. Unless you want to waste your Swords to Plowshares on a Mana Dork, I don't think you do. Again, a Reclamation Sage, another creature that once it's on the battlefield, killing it does nothing, but you can, again, stifle that ability. And if you got a Rhystic Study in play and your opponent is about to kill it with a Reclamation Sage, stifling that actually is really good. That is the same as countering that spell, right? Because once the Reclamation Sage is in play, it's completely useless to them. It's just a 2-1 Elf Shaman. How about Dockside Extortionist? I know a lot of people hate that card. Again, Swords to Plowshares does nothing here. I guess unless they're going to combo off and return their Dockside Extortionist to their hand with like a Cloudstone Curio or something and just make a bunch of tokens, there it will help. But most of the time, it's just I cast my Dockside Extortionist and get like 12 treasure tokens. Stifle is going to stop that ability. Your opponent's Dockside Extortionist, a $70 card, now just becomes a two mana one two because of that stifle. So what is this video actually about? I mean, I'm comparing a very, very, the most popular removal spell in the entire format to a sort of similar card, right? Again, one mana instant. That's probably the only similarity. Comparing the two, just to try to get people to think. You know, you think about all the things in the format that you don't like, that your opponents are doing. You think about all the things that are going to be ending the game for you or winning the game for your opponent. How many of them does Swords to Plowshare stop and how many of them does Stifle stop? I think Stifle actually stops a lot more. So, is Stifle better than Swords to Plowshares in a commander game? I don't know. Probably not. But I think I made a pretty good case for why people should definitely be playing it more, no question. But that is it for today, and thanks for tuning in.